Hello YouTube, what's going on? Shane2K here, and today I'll be interviewing the newest commit of the Central Baptist College Mustangs, Malik Coleman. How are you doing, man? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm glad to hear it. How are you holding up during this pandemic and stuff? Man, this pandemic got everything crazy, man. Got everything shut down, so can't get in the gym a lot. Sorry, we just been sitting on the way getting fat, man. <laughs> I've been doing the same thing. No worries about that, man. Are you, are you doing a lot to, like, stay in shape, like, body weight stuff? Yeah, I'm doing um, a couple push-ups, sit-ups. Uh, I got a um, couple workouts I do, watch on TV, my mom, and all that stuff. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not just sitting, like, just sitting around like that. Now. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, like, not really even an excuse to be lazy. It's like everyone's going to be, everyone's workouts are getting less during this time. There's nothing you can really do about it. So you you're playing basketball at the Mustangs. Any reason you chose the Central Baptist Mustangs, like in particular? Man, because uh, really is right up my alley. It's um, it's a great school, man. Great coach and staff. Cause guy, yeah, he's, uh, he's a great man, man. He he shows a lot of love, and uh, it's right up it's right up the street from home, man. I like that. I like um, any like. Or about the coaching staff, How, like, why is that a good coaching staff to you? Because, uh, man, look, they actually, they actually take time, and they actually take time and build their team and take time and to pick the right player and put the player in the, right, the right player in their position to make sure that they can win as a team. It seems like they, they're, all, they're all together. They're not just strictly on making money for the university, all that stuff. Yeah, they're, not, yeah, they're not just making money. They're, they're trying to build their family. I like that. I like that family aspect that you're going for. That's a that's a good thing to look for as a player. Yeah, man. How do you feel about the NBA being stopped and halted during this and no sports to watch? Man, dude, that is crazy. I've been watching it, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know you're familiar with All Americans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's what I've been watching, man. <laughs> that show's so good. I haven't finished it yet, but uh, I'm, I'm close to finishing it. Man, I just started season one. It's, dude, it get. I feel like every episode, it gets crazier. Oh, wow. There's, like, I mean, I'm in season two. It, it like, it gets a little slow at points, but I feel like there's a hundred different storylines going around, and I love it. That's why I love the show. Another thing I've been getting into is uh, Breaking Bad. I started watching that. It's so good. Man, okay, bad, bad, got you. Breaking Bad's good. You, um... Yeah, um you watched the Jordan docu series yet? No, I haven't watched it yet, man. It's incredible. It like broke okay, all the. Check that out. It broke all the ESPN like documentary records for viewers. Um, they only are doing two episodes a week. They're doing uh ten episodes and all, so it's gonna be five weeks. But episode three and four are coming out tomorrow, actually. Well, the day this is uploaded today, but Sunday. Yeah, I'm on that then, man. It's so Thank good. You for they were, I mean, like, obviously, it's not really a spoiler. They, they talk about Scottie Pippen and stuff. And it, like, I'm a, yeah. basket, I'm a basketball nut. I had no idea. Scottie Pippen was the 122nd highest play, uh, paid player in the NBA at the time. <laughs> it was like a 18 million seven-year deal. It was ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. I like that's why I love people that are loyal in the NBA. Like they're all getting paid millions, and but if I was there, I, honestly, you wouldn't have paid me that much for me to stay forever. So man, what's up with this rumor I'm hearing about that they're they're paying players to play in college? What was that about players in college? They're they're paying players to play in college. Oh, so in, it started in California. I haven't. I don't know all the states. But they're starting to let some players get endorsement deals. Not like Nike or anything, but some endorsement deals. And they're starting to make a little bit of money. I think it's only California at this point, but it's it's a little bit more money. Um, some of the things like, you know how your parents can't give you money in college? They can't do all these things for you. They're going to try and lift some of that because that's just, that's just stupid in my opinion. Uh, YouTube channels, that's a big thing because like, you, have you ever heard Destroying? Yep. Uh, all right, sorry. 
You ever heard of uh, Destroying, the kicker on YouTube? No. Well, he, play, he played for UCF, I think. He was a kicker and he did YouTube, but he was making money. And they asked him to delete the channel or demonetize it. And he left because he would have made more money doing that. They're letting YouTube channels profit. You can make a charity and profit off. And uh, if it's non-profit, you weren't allowed to do that before, which was stupid. But I, I love that. It's a big thing. That's um, I have some insane... I mean, I like to make some of my interviews different. I've been giving people, like, a hypothetical. I'm giving you three crazy hypotheticals. So, you ready for these? Okay. This is a hypothetical I feel like all of us as basketball players or even athletes have been, like, faced with one time or another. But if you could add one thing to your game, like, to be the best at, so it could be height to any skill, strength, anything, what would you add? Honestly, I would add my, uh, my ability to jump, man. Your vertical? You want bunnies? Yeah, I gotta, ha I gotta have some bunnies. I gotta be in the comfort of my hand like brown. You can dunk, right? I thought I saw it on your story. I th at least I think. Yeah, I might... yeah. I can punch that thing easy, man. No, nah, I get what you're saying. No doubt. You won't be touching the top of the backboard, bunnies. That's what you want. Yeah, I'm trying to get up there. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. The, ne uh, the next hypothetical is... If you had to play against Michael Jordan and Pippen in a 2v2 to, like, save the world, you could pick anyone as your partner, game to 21, win by two. Who would you choose? I'm going Mike. No, you're playing Michael and Pippen, so you can't pick either of them. Oh, so you said I'm going Mike and Pippen. To, like, save the planet, you have to beat them. Who's your partner? I love that answer. I asked that before. Somebody said Shaq, and I was like, I don't know about that. I love that answer. You're bad. If they ever come down, somebody like that, Morocco, my my pops, man. That you can't get that teammate chemistry with anybody else. I'm, I agree with that. Yeah. Your dad. I mean, my dad's there always, either catch my rebound, shooting me something. So me and him got the best chemistry ever. And my last hypothetical is, if you could be the GOAT, greatest of all time in any sport besides basketball, what would it be? Baseball. Baseball? Yeah. Any reason behind that? Man, really? Because I really wouldn't even touch the field. <laughs> I really would just be like, chilling. No, I get that. Like, they also get paid like a lot. I like that. I get what you're saying. They also make they they make like the most money out of the three. Of like the best guy makes the most money. It's kind of I don't I don't know how because I barely watch baseball. I don't really like baseball. I have a cousin that's getting drafted. I can't even name what college he's going to right now. Like <laughs> I don't care about baseball, but I don't get how they make so much money. So speaking of going pro and getting drafted, do you aspire to go pro someday? Oh yeah. My dream, my dream is to just get somewhere where I can get my family stable enough so they won't have to depend on nobody else but themselves and me. Cause I don't want I'm I, I'm I'm from like I don't want to say I'm from poverty, but it, we struggle. Everybody struggles, you know. Yeah. So I want to get to I want to get to my mom, but dad don't have to struggle no more. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, man. No, I like that family about, first aspect. I'm all about the family. I'm all about the family. That's, that's like, because I have, I wouldn't say selfish, but I've had other people who have considered interviewing who, who I know wouldn't give that answer. That was, uh, like, that's the best thing to hear from a player, especially if there's any, like, coaches listening to this, which, I mean, I doubt it much. If you've seen my channel, it's pretty small. But, st but still, like, that's, that's, like, the best thing you can hear from a player possible. A, a plus thing you just said right there. But speaking of, um... You said it's every Hooper's dream. Now, obviously, if every Hooper can make the NBA, they'd all do it. Do you have, like, a backup plan? Just, in, like, I mean, I think you could do it. I mean, obviously, I give any... I always root for an underdog. I'm, I'm good in, I'm good with computers. You're good with computers? What's your major in college? Yeah, what? 
what's your uh, major in college? Computer science. Yeah. I, hey, that's not a that's not a bad one at all. That's actually a really you, you'll make bank like that, dude. Yeah. Who? Uh, we're just I'm getting off the entire college thing. Who was your hero growing up that kind of inspired you to make basketball your life? Uh, really? Really, I just always had the ball in my hands. So nobody really inspired me to play basketball. I just played basketball. Hmm. I really kind of did it just because I wanted to do it. I get you. And now I love it. I mean, I kind of started basketball the same way. I kind of just started, didn't watch a single NBA game when I started playing, and then I started loving it. So, outside of basketball, who would you say, like, your hero growing up always was, though? My pops, man. Always my pops and my mom, man. I love to hear that, dude. It's awesome. That's like, I love hearing family first people because I'm the same, I'm like the exact same way. Some people would have been like, oh, Michael Jordan. Uh, I was about to say Tom Brady. No one would say that. LeBron James. I'm like, that. I love to hear that, man. My mom, my dad, man. Yeah. I, that's like, dude, I'm telling you, these are all like A plus answers you're giving right now. I said, these are all like A plus, 100% answers you're giving, and I'm loving each and every one of them. Yeah, man. All I gotta say is the truth. Yeah, I like that. Who would you say, while you're working out, you got beats on, earbuds on, anything? Who's your favorite rapper to listen to? He really gets you in the zone while you're working out. Right away, man. <laughs> I feel you on that one. I bumped it right away, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Now I got a controversial rapper one. Who are you picking, Tupac or Biggie? I got to ask it. I'm bringing the heat. Oh, I get you. Well, I mean, I listen to both of them a little bit, but wise answer not to just, like, side Tupac or anything. I like that. Now, I I like to end every single interview with this one. This isn't the longest interview in the world. I'm not going to lie, but you're one of my favorites that I brought on. But every one, I'm trying to end with this one. So when everything is said and done, after basketball, after everything, when your life is coming to an end, what would you like your legacy to be in the world? It's a great answer, man. You want to be a family first kind of a dude that does it all. Not does it all, but you you want to, you want your actions to be bigger than your talk, you're saying. Yeah. All right. I like that answer. Well, man, it was a pleasure having you on here. I loved every single second of it. So if there's anything you want to plug, tell people to follow you, say anything at the end here, it's up to you. an absolute pleasure to have you on if you guys want to find Malik his Instagram will be in the description I wish you the best of luck with your uh, with the Mustangs and all that and during this pandemic and stuff so uh, thank you for coming on a great interview man alright no problem and that's the end of the video guys if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe comment and make sure to go follow Malik that's all Shane 2k out